good morning everyone. Welcome back to the outpost. You can see what I ran into when I pulled up in the driveway this morning, but um, I took a look at it honestly and I thought, well, that's not going to be a big deal. I just cut it and going up there. But what I didn't realize is that the tree that it fell from, let me show you. Okay, here is a big limb that fell out of the tree, right? Okay, well the tree that it came from is right there. Right here. And if you look up, you can see that another one is broken off goes across the driveway and it's just kind of lodged in this cedar tree right here you can see it's twisted off and it's just got a few fibers left that are holding it up there which that's a better view from this side right here so that makes now this trunk right here I had intended on cutting this tree uh, at some point and it's gonna make a lot of wood but this is my problem now, I can't stand at the base of the tree and cut that so what I'm gonna have to do is get a rope I'm gonna have to throw it over the top make a loop in one end throw it over the top feed my end through that loop pull it up and take the tractor and pull that down before I can even saw the tree up on the base but once I get that down I can buck uh, both of those up into uh, some firewood and then that trunk there's probably um, a good 35 or 40 feet of it there and it looks like it's probably 18 inches or 20 inches at the base that will make a lot of wood but uh, I can't even get up there to do anything so I'm gonna have to go get my chainsaw and a rope before I can even um, get up there and get the tractor and, and uh, I'm going to have to pull it uphill because the tractor is on the other side so it shouldn't be too difficult I just wanted to show you what I ran into when I pulled up here first thing this morning so let me go get my materials and we'll get busy and see if we can't cut this thing out of the way um, I didn't have a rope uh, long enough or a string that I could actually throw over that and I had went to uh, try to get some rope but they didn't have enough length that I needed because I do have to go up and come back down just to be able to get it slid through the knot but I do have a cable so I bought some little 3 16 uh, nylon rope that I'm going to use to throw over that and then pull that cable up so it's down in the hollow I'm going to have to go down there and get it I'm going to take the tractor down there and uh, load it up on the back of that boom then we'll go down there and see if we can't throw that line up over that tree pull that cable up and see if we can't pull it back up the driveway with the tractor so uh, let me go check see if it's warmed up enough and we'll head down there and get that uh, cable
All right, guys, I've got a camera set up over there and this one right here. We're gonna see if we can't pull that down. Let's get started. Well, we managed to get it. I had to tug on a little bit, but um, it is down. Now it's safe to cut up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the chainsaw cranked up and get this stuff bucked up and thrown out of the driveway where I can actually get up here. I <laughs> tore the driveway up a little bit, but it's easy to fix with the bucket. So let's get the chainsaw and see if we can't get this bucked up. Well, I've got most of that bucked up. I'm gonna go ahead and pitch it off to the side where I can pick it up later. You know, <laughs> I had plans today to begin cutting my roof rafters, but you know, just like life, sometimes you're throwing a curveball, and I didn't expect this, but uh, this is what I got. So you have to make the best of it. And actually, um, that's gonna be some good firewood later on. Even though it is yellow pine, but it's rich. Um, it's got um, fat wood in it. So yeah, it'll burn real good. Basically, I would burn it for uh, campfires because pine is not really something that you want to send up your chimney because it does create like creosote and it will get uh, coated on the inside and at some point the chimney will actually ignite. So you kind of have to be, keep it really cleaned out if that's what you're burning. See, that's a good piece of fat wood right there. See that? I'm gonna save that. Well, I got the driveway cleaned out. All I got is one log down there by my chainsaw. Like I said, sometimes life throws you curves and you just have to deal with it. So, um, basically what it was is that tree right there there's probably 10 20 30 feet of it that's left that's good that i can mill a lot of lumber out of and then i have bucked up quite a bit of um firewood just across the driveway and then i've got these two tops laying there so when i get the chainsaw sharpened up i'll get that done but anyway hope you enjoyed that little video don't know if that's ever happened to you before but sometimes that's the way that I cut timber, especially if the tree is going to fall the wrong way. Normally I use just a kid's little bow and arrow and shoot a string through. And then I use the string to pull a rope like the one that I had, the little rope. Then I use the little rope to pull a cable through. Um, but I don't have that little child's bow and arrow. I need to get another one because every once in a while the trees that I'm cutting up there in the hollow, they're leaning the wrong way. And you need them to fall where they're accessible, not inaccessible. So, um, I mean, that's not anything new to me, but I thought I would show it on video because um, sometimes you have to do things like that. And 
it was just about it actually wasn't broke as much as I thought it was up there because that tractor's four-wheel drive and I was tugging on it I've actually got probably ruts about this deep that I'm gonna have to cover up now um, all four wheels just to pull that portion down there I was kind of afraid to saw this tree and let it fall but that might fall on my head so but anyway we've got it down and everything's good to go so anyway hope you guys enjoy this little video take care be safe and we hope to see you back at the outpost in the future Thank you.